welcome back to Total War. So, we had a vote on which of the uh, games I should, which of the Total War games I should play next for a campaign and what mod to use. And in this case, Napoleon Total War 1 with the World War 1 mod. Now, I've actually played this before and I think I'm going to link down in the comment section to the playlist or when I played as Germany. Now I can't remember exactly, it's probably a year ago or more. I'm not entirely certain as of recording this right now. But yes, this one with 25% of the votes and we're gonna take a look at it. So last time around we played as Germany and so it's, I think it's high time then that we play as some of the allies. So we got Great Britain, we got France, and we've got Russia. Now I think most uh, comments actually suggested playing as Britain. And but the thing about Britain is that they're uh, they're on an island. They're not in direct contact with the Germans. And um, I don't think that's going to be as fun. I think as playing as either France or Russia. And I have decided that I'm going to play as Russia for this uh, campaign of the Allies if we play, uh, depending on how long this campaign goes on for maybe in the future um, we will, uh, I will let it open to vote which nation I c should play as because there's a number of different minor nations that could maybe be interesting for smaller campaigns but we'll see that in the future. I should also say that this that I was not aware, as when starting up the vote, that the 1212 AD uh, had its own campaign for Attila at this point, uh, which I was kind of interesting about, interested in, and I'm going to take a closer look at that. And since I uh, have talked about you know moving away from Mount Blade quite a lot, um, given that it it doesn't really cater to my playstyle, I'll probably play it some. But I'll probably go over more to playing more Total Wars and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do two Total War campaigns. And then the 1212 AD uh, could be an interesting choice based off your vote. But anyways, let's go ahead and start this then. Playing as Russia. We're supposed to charge down and take the all the way to Greece. Then we obviously need to capture the capitals of Austria, Hungary, and uh, the Prussians or the German Reich. So we need to defeat them in that way with the help of our allies. So let's go ahead and start the game, shall we? We've got some uh, patriotic pamphlets here inciting for uh, joining the army for, of the French. Yes! Right, so we've got big lumbering beast and I've already taken a look at sort of the situation of Russia and for well for all nations in the beginning of this they don't have a lot of stuff going in the beginning um, not very many the the recruitment center these small barracks and stuff are centered around Petrograd and we've got Moscow and well I guess the Kiev is the biggest front to the front, but most of these. Well, we got one here, and we got we got Minsk is probably a pretty good situation to actually set up a close um, sort of be ready to upgrade this to. Um, I wonder crafts workshop. Craft Workshop will enable artillery, so I can enable artillery. So I don't have to pull it all the way back from. Uh, like Petrograd or Moscow or anything like that. We also have got this place in Riga. So that's pretty good, close to the German border. So we've got two places close to the German border and they've got a bit of a buffer here with two provinces ahead of them. Um, and I guess Kiev is going to have to be the one to be against the uh, Austro-Hungarians. Now the Austro-Hungarians have this mountain range which is oh I went straight through it I don't think there's not a lot of places you can go go through the mountains you could go through the mountains here 
via this bridge, which if the Austrians decide to go through here, pr probably quite easy to defeat them. I'm not entirely sure if they can go through here. Um, doesn't look like it. I can't actually remember from playing Napoleon Total War 3, but I, th I think you could go through here. So there's two ways through the mountain. So uh, what we need to do is start building up to uh, attack these places. I think for the first video um, I will go ahead and explain a bit about how I'm building up the stuff but then I, I really want a battle in the first one or a sm some kind of small battle and so since it's gonna take such a time just building up and getting everything ready um, we're probably gonna cut right here and then I'm gonna jump into it when we're kind of ready uh, to go to war. One thing we're gonna do before we do that though is take a look at the diplomatic uh, situations. We see roughly what's going on. So we've got the massive block of the enemy right here um, together with the o Ottomans and then we got <laughs> our ally Serbia right there in the middle. Probably not gonna go too well for them. And we got the um, the Belgians didn't really join us because they uh, because they wanted to more more or less because they didn't have a choice. Then we got France and we got Britain. We're gonna see about can I possibly interest Mr. Italy in trade? Oh, uh, it's rejected. Well, f blast you then, Mr. Spaghetti. I have no interest in trading with you, anyways. <laughs> and Romania. Go on, Romania, you want this? Yes, Romania wants trade. Very nice of you, Romania. Um, and so, no, Romania is quite friendly with us at this point because we've got trade with them. Now, one of the things you can do to... M oh, you know what? There's one thing that you can really do to increase the amount of money ma you make. Now, Russia makes quite a lot to start off with, but we're going to need a lot more, and it's going to take a while to upgrade to the point where we can make good bit of money um, out of our provinces and so forth. So what I'm planning on is building a lot of these cargo ships that's going to be sent from these ports because there's no point in sending them. I don't think there's any point in sending them through here. Most likely the Ottomans have got a navy to, to block us there. Or do they even have a port? I can't even see if they have a port here. There's a, there's the port. Doesn't seem as though it's built. There's a cannon there. You know what? We're gonna send the navy over here. You know what? This port isn't even in built, so that's not gonna work. Right. So they actually have a light cruiser and some stuff there, um, but their port isn't really built up. We want to stop trade though, so we're gonna go ahead and lay siege there. Probably need to build this, but I'm gonna focus more on building trade ships on this side and then we're gonna send them and c capture the trade points where you get ivory because ivory is the only tradable goods oh you know what it's changed last time I actually looked at this or I think I think it, it I think it's changed because of the sub mods I have added maybe that because last time ivory was the only thing that was really worth trading now we've got a lot of different stuff that's actually worth trading but ivory, of course, is the most um, most expensive one, and the, the one that's uh, most you're gonna get more money from selling it. But uh, most of these seems pretty nice. But we're gonna try to go for ivory as best as possible. Um, policies, you know what? We're gonna trade. Th we're gonna have trade. I will. We're gonna tax the poor until they become communists. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, and we're gonna ignore the factory workers. That always works for Russia. Uh, yes, so th there's going to be uh, quite a lot. You know what? We're going to put this guy in here. And we're going to take a look at what we are going to... Oh, this one. Marxism and socialism. Yes, the first thing we're going to do is... No, hell no. I'm going to stay away from that. War bonds, tax income, that's good. Self-determination, no way. The peasants need to stay where they are. Um, mortars. Yes, that seems nice. We need mortars, and it's only one turn. Um, then we've got a few over here that's only one a few turns. Rigid airships. I know I'm rigid whenever I see an airship. Um, mass production. There's quite a few good things here, though. 
quite easy and it doesn't take a long time to uh, start up. But we're gonna stay away from the civic stuff. God, r reforming the Russian society? Never! Maybe war bonds, but socialism and self-determination. Ter terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. No, we don't want any of that nonsense. Um, we're going to send out this uh, Baltic Sea Navy as well, because I imagine Germany has a bit of a port there. Not that they're trading. Oh, they're actually trading from over here. With Sweden. Bastards. Swedish bastards. I still, I still Finland of them. Still, they keep on... I guess that's kind of forced them onto the side of Germany. But it's a while ago. I don't know, know why they keep bothering with it. Um, so there we go, we've got a bit of a situ situational awareness of what's going on. I'm gonna drag my forces together, we're gonna tr try to create um, I think three armies. A true pronged attack into, uh, into Germany. We're gonna liberate, liberate within quotation marks, we're gonna liberate within quotation marks Poland, obviously. Uh, and then whatever other kinds of strange people are here. There are going to be Russians in the future anyways. So why bother with it? Anyways, um, yes, hopefully we'll be drawing into battle after I've done this introduction of what I'm going to do. And skippity doo -dah, let's just jump into that, shall we? Well, it wasn't like... Uh, we didn't know that was going to happen, but I thought maybe we would be, infli be inflicting a bit more damage on the enemy. Let's go ahead, close defeat. Let's go back to the uh, the map here. How many? They lost 328, while we lost half the force and obviously the town. Oh no, they. Uh, I oh they fought us. Bef oh no, we had an opportunity to intercept. Was that what happened? I actually get more forces now to defend, so it was only an outskirt, uh, a battle on the outskirts, which means that I have a possibility of uh, maybe being able to get the general up in time. The thing is, if I detach the artillery and the general, I could probably get the infantry and the cavalry up uh, closer. But it's kind of a small army I'm bringing up, so there's a there's a lot of butts here. I don't know where all the butts came from. But there is a lot of them. And all these buttons uh, says that I should uh, play this cautiously. The thing is that it kind of an open up a three front war at this point, And I was hoping to only keep it at two. So the city is besieged. Path of this guy is blocked. And we build railroads. We build a city council. A harbour in Sevastopol. Medium barracks in Minsk. And Moscow got a a crafts workshop. So we've got the stinking Romanians right here. Luckily for us, it's all infantry. This force, unfortunately, was uh, thrown back and he's gonna have to go back here where he was originally actually stationed. And this is the army under the command of Mikhail Semenyanyos Vontorsnyovskilovsk. And he is not gonna be able to join in time. He could send forth the cavalry and the infantry to actually be uh, helping taking part in this. But I think this is a lost cause already. We've got armed citizenry, which is going to be nice because we can put them in all the buildings and stuff. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, bastards. I'm sending down this army actually. We're going to put the general on it, but I'm going to put it on soon. Uh, I'm going to put it to the front though. We've got this one, which is my largest one. We've got three artillery pieces. We've got a lot of infantry, a lot of cavalry. We're going to push them forwards at some point towards Königsberg. But the enemy has had quite a bit of time of preparing at this point, so that's not very good. The enemy, yes, as I said, the enemy light cruiser managed to sink our cruiser. Now, my um, cargo ships are stuck in port, unfortunately. Which is not very nice, but I have been able to build up the railroads, as we can see here. It's a nice railroad. The thing is, one interesting thing is, it only turns up in these in these regions where I've built it. So the building, the regions that already had um, had railroads, they're not as clear, and there's no trains going on this. So you can clearly see how there's kind of nothing here, and then the railroad starts here, which looks ca rather strange. 
Um, we'll probably need to build here. And then I guess I need to upgrade this to increase it even more. Then on technology, we've got the mortars or we've uh, researched for them. Um, and we've got the airships, we've got mass production is next, we've got the war bonds, and we also got Russian military tradition, which apparently does jack shit. But I got it. Um, so, right, what do we have? What's this? Light infantry? Looks like it. So we got light infantry and we've got infantry battalions, which are being recruited right now to support uh, our push forward. We are also recruiting. Uh, he, we were recruiting in Riga, Minsk, and Kiev, recruiting extra troops to send to the front. I was hoping to attack the Austrians right here because they're building up quite the force right now, and I had to send the agent here to make sure that we kept this, so we knew what was going on here. So the the Austrians are building up. I I could have struck them with this army, and I some really good maneuvering and stuff. I probably could have taken that region, but now because of the stupid Romanians, that's not going to be the case. Um, right. I'm going to go ahead and build some stuff, and then we'll go in to f for the final part of this video, I think, which will be me fighting off the bastard Romanians. And that will be it for this video, I think. And so here we are to deal a defeat to the Romanians. His army has managed to come in to play, and we've got our artillery, we've got our cavalry, and we've got our infantry with us to be able to support uh, our men. Now, the Romanians, of course, took the, the village or the town last time around. Now we're going to blast them straight to hell right out of that town. I've set up a kind of defensive bunker situation right here with our little station. Um, I think we'll have like one unit here and then the rest will go in spread out formation on either flank. We've got cavalry hidden in the forest. I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't want to show me right off the bat when they show me this. Uh, or maybe I'm, I'm stupid and done something. But anyways, let's go ahead and start. You know what? We will deploy the cannons first. So there we have that. They are deployed. The general right over there. Let's go ahead and start. So we'll start by taking these three. No, you know what? We'll take two on this side. Spread out along there. And then we'll take you. Spread you out along there. And then you can stay right where you are. So the artillery has started to bombard them, and they're going to blast them out, hopefully blast them out of the town here. Not very accurate of the artillery, it's blasting a bit all over the place, but I imagine the enemy moving in quite tight formation, and uh, probably going to hit other units as we bombard this one. So we're going to keep blasting that bloody town, and... We're getting our reinforcements, which is armed citizenry and the Oblitioni regiment, which survived last time around. So they're moving up here in the flank. You know what? They can continue as they are. Terrain is not really favor favorable right here. I'm not entirely sure. You know what? Start running. We need you guys in position ready sooner rather than later. I think the cavalry might be a more... Uh, is going to do more damage on the enemy than the artillery. Of course, we're only going to be able to use the cavalry once the enemy actually decides to move outside of the town, which we're slowly bombarding. The Romanians probably regretting attacking Russia at this point. They had an early success against us. But now they're getting blasted to shit by our artillery. Unfortunately, we're going to have to blast our, the outskirts of our own town here in the process. The general unit is moving back. It might be a suggestion the rest of the army is moving back. But you can kind of see where the rest of them are. So there's, there's a few out here. You can see them sort of where the smoke is coming from. They're all moving around. So we can kind of get an idea of where they are. 
blasting the general as as he moves away from the main battle line. I think we might have to advance upon the enemy, but the enemy still has a numerical advantage. So what I'm going to do is we're going to waste the armed citizenry and the obligene on this task. I want you to I want you guys to spread out, kind of go beneath this ridge, then cross the ridge, start opening fire on whatever is here. Maybe we can drag the enemy towards this location. And in that situation, if that situation arises, we've got the light horse right here ready to ride up and uh, kill the enemy. So the obligene moving out of the forest there, getting into this position, going to be below the ridge and then cross it to start opening fire upon the enemy. I'm not entirely sure where the enemy general is think he's going because the uh, I believe the range of the artillery pieces covers any map really. So there's no way you can hide really. Ooh. I don't think I don't think th all these kills come from just that unit. So when he has passed through some other defensive locations here, uh, he sort of dragged the artillery shots into other units. Still not entirely sure where he's going. He's going very far off to the side here. Could be an opportunity for my cavalry to strike and cut the head of the enemy army. So we're going to move the, art the cavalry over to this location right here. And then we're going to uh, try to cut the head off the enemy. Right, a lot of the armed citizenry has turned up. These guys are ready. You know what? Time to cross over. If you can. So cross up towards here. They've got increased range. So at this point they should be able to hit. If they like to turn up whatever is over there. And then we're going to get the armed citizenry to try to march in column as much as possible towards this location over here. Stupid general, where is he going? Where on earth does he think he's going? He's gonna hit the edge pretty soon. And we'll keep blasting him. Silly bastard tries to move away. thing is I should probably focus in maybe starting firing over here because we've got the enemy over here or I think we've got the enemy over here could be some elaborate ruse but I don't doubt it you know what we're gonna get these armed citizenries and they're gonna get get the enemy to start firing upon them we're gonna get these guys coming this way and these guys gonna charge up a bit once that happens, I'm going to tell the artillery to f refocus its efforts onto this location. Oh, the yes, the general has found his position, or the general unit. He's decided to make his stand on this hill up in the corner. We still have a possibility of moving around, of flanking in and taking him down. I think the cavalry will be well enough to charge and destroy these. Plus the enemy, uh, the rest of the enemy army is still down in the village. Crap, he's moving already. Get the cavalry. You know what? We're going to speed up a bit. Get the cavalry going. We're going to stop bombarding them at this point. There's no point. Instead, I'm going to. I want them to bombard this area. And now we're going to see about if we can f find those blasted enemies. I get the armed citizenry to come along here. And we're gonna get this cavalry unit to come out over here as well. Right, so it's moving. It's past this. We can see some enemy units. They've moved over here. Let's strike the enemy general before he has a chance to set up. I guess there wasn't wasn't anything there. Let's hold the artillery and just let it fire. Uh, oh, the entire enemy army has been spotted. Kaboom! At your swords, gentlemen! Charge! Kind of a band angle there. 
Cavalry got all screwed up. Come on, blast the Romanians. The cowards are leaving the town. Oh, here's all of them. But we're going to take down this general. Cut them down. The Russian cavalry has caught the enemy off guard. And we're slowly cutting them down. The enemy general has been cut to shreds. And the rest of the army is retreating as we're bombarding it with the artillery. I thought the enemy was here, but I guess it was some kind of elaborate ruse done by the enemy. Right, these guys, which are actually just standing like that, where the cavalry is not having any luck attacking these guys, so we're going to retreat. Call the retreat! Well, we were successful in cutting down the general unit, and that's probably going to be enough to uh, really hamper the enemy. Guys are tired. Let's move towards that forest. We're going to have to move up the rest of our troops. Let's get the armed citizenry, which are already close to town. This unit's already really close. Let's see if we can get him in, capture the center of town. We're going to get the rest of our units to advance towards the enemy at this point and uh, our other cavalry unit is going to come around here and go into the forest so I want you, let's see, hold your fire and then pick targets now so the enemy seems to be drawing against this cavalry unit which is winded at this point um, Coming out of the forest could be an idea, charging the enemy. But looking at the, how they're moving, maybe we'll move up on the hill. Question is if the enemy is actually going for us or if they're going somewhere else. Oh, we're kind of breaking down that house. Okay, so the enemy is right over there. I want you guys in spread out formation. Along, why can't you go into spread out? Go into spread out. There we go. So I want both of you spread out like this, ready to take on the enemy, and then this Russian unit, which is an armed citizenry, will charge into the town hall. And on this side, the enemy is very close. This unit, however, of armed citizenry, does not have any uh, weapons to speak of, so they're going to charge, and these guys. We have taken the building, sir. Get onto the wall. Get the armed citizenry onto the wall and start to fire from there. And these two units, I'll have them in spread out formation along here. Cavalry will now speed up a bit and hide behind behind this uh, area right here. So we got armed citizenry armed with only knives, it seems charging in on the Romanians um, doesn't look like that's that was a very good idea but we've uh, we kind of hold the Romanian in place right now open up on these Romanians right here have these guys open fire they should be able to yes our men are running sir. so they're slowly getting shot down We've got the caval the possibility of the cavalry coming down, taking these two units out. These shooting at the Romanians. Um, the house holding so far. You know what? This unit, we might still have one unit behind here to protect um, the uh, protect our uh, our what's it called? Our kind of like base. Okay, get into behind the wall. And then we've got these guys situated here. Doing their best trying to shoot the enemy. We're going to hold off the cavalry on the right. Try your best to shoot down these guys. We're doing good work here. It's the uh, 
It's the forest we need to deal with, so the cavalry at this point is fresh. I will hold their shot until they're really close. Once they're real close, we'll tell them to fire. Come on, damn you, ride. The 5th Light Cavalry will come out from its position. He will ride up close behind the enemy, fire, and then charge in. Looks like the Romanian is making a push for it through the village towards our artillery. We're going to have to check that, but first I need to micromanage this attack. Forward spin, and fire! God damn it, charge, charge! The enemy was able to to turn around and shoot us before we had the chance to actually fire, so kind of mas massive casualties there among the Our cavalry. Men are running, sir. And was it the cavalry who ran? No, it's uh, one of the uh, it's one of the armed citizenry. Right, the cavalry charge failed. Cavalry pull off. This unit needs to focus in on this, and you focus in on that. So you all oh shit, the enemy is coming straight for the artillery at this point. Focus in on the enemy right there. What's going on on this side? The enemy has been able to break through and push back the armed citizenry, which is not very well. Um, cavalry, you need to push around. The obligation is holding right there. We're slowly whittling down the enemy. The cavalry is needed back um, at main sort of base. Romanians are charging against this rifle regiment, which is doing its best to hold them off. And they're kind of breaking here, so a cavalry charge could probably just wipe them all out. Right, the enemy is coming to your flank, so I want you to move to face them. Oh, this unit has actually lost running, quite a few horsemen. When did they lose them? Oh, moving through here. They lost tons. I guess this one fired at them. Right, wipe them out. Charge in cavalry. Nice. What's, how's it going on in the center? It's not going too well here. These guys need to pull back. This unit's holding on. It's being joined by an armed citizenry. General is here to support. We've got artillery. Close artillery support, blowing the enemy away. Heavy fighting over here. Cavalry trying its best to dislodge that enemy unit. Did not work too well. You two fire on that one. And you, you know what, fire at that one. And you turn around as well. How's it going in the center? I was hoping to use the cavalry here. Doesn't seem as though that's gonna be the case. They're doing a charge. Hopefully they're Our gonna be, you know what? Running, Armed citizenry has to charge out ahead of that, trying to stop them from actually reaching, from actually reaching our lines. General, I'm gonna have to <laughs> deploy you. Right, <coughs> infantry move up. How's it going over here? The Romanians, god damn it. They managed to win the battle over the, on that side. The cavalry is still kind of ish holding on. But there's Our only men are five running, of them sir. left. God damn it. Everyone get into position and stop these bastards. How close are they over here? Oh, they were repulsed. The militia was pushed back. Oh, our militia was pushed back. We kind of missed this point, which probably would more would have been more interesting than looking at uh, the the side that was going on on the side. But I'm kind of worried over here as well. Heroic defense here by this Russian unit holding the Romanians at bay. Oh, the armed citizenry that I sent forwards. 
is still kind of alive here. Do we have the cav... What happened to the cavalry that I sent up there? I guess they were shot down by the enemy. What's going on on this side? Come on, shoot them down. Everything's falling apart on this side. We've got one unit left. One armed citizenry unit doing its best. One of our this. units has used all its ammunition, sir. Crap. And the enemy is renewing its attack. Come on, focus in on the center of that attack. And I kind of need these guys. The enemies... I don't know why they're holding until there's so few left. There's 45 here. Come on, give them everything you've got. And I really need that artillery to blast these guys away. Keep up the fire. The general is there to support. I don't think we will be able to... Uh, successfully throw the Romanians back one more time. Come on, get that artillery. You can basically turn the artillery straight at the enemy at this point. Come on, hold. The entire unit is dead, sir. We need this to hold. God damn it. This unit's coming in. Open up on the enemy through the flank. There's 23 and they're still fighting. God damn it. Why are they still fighting? This unit needs to hold. Nice. This one's pulling back. Come on. Maybe it was the general being able to shoot them down. Move forwards, general. There's a hundred Russians left on the front line. Hundred and nine. The enemy is slowly breaking apart this time around. I want you to follow them. And then I want the artillery to focus in on that unit over there. Kind of would be nice if this unit actually turned to face this one. We've got 90 Russians moving up. And the general. Trying to make what sure this units time around all its ammunition, sir? that the Romanians are not coming back. What unit just lost all its ammo? Oh, this is the general. The general is out of ammo. Right, I don't think these guys are coming back. We need to pull back and prepare defense through the flank. Come on, blow that piece of shit away. Nice. They're blown away. Right. We still need to hound this one. But now, it's the units coming in from the flank. Shit, now they're shooting. They're shooting my general. General, move into safety. If you die, the entire thing might just collapse. So this unit, the 11th Regiment, will continue to harass and follow this rifle regiment. Make sure they get off the field. This one is going to set up here. Fire at the guys coming down here. We've got three regiments coming in. These guys still hounding this Oblichene. Nice, the artillery is coming in. We've got fire support. This unit is moving as fast as, it's ca as it can to get into support. The thing is, we'll be, we'll be able to defeat the Romanians like this. But we will not be able to continue our assault. And neither will we be able to defeat a full stack of... Um, of... Uh, what's it called? Austro-Hungarians which have been spotted moving our way. Come on, force this one away. They're standing in straight lines like it's the Napoleonic Wars. There's only 45 of them left. Kind of worried about this one coming back. 
will switch fire. I guess the enemy ju or the r units just fire 360. You don't actually need to turn them, they sort of turn themselves. We'll turn the artillery and make sure that this one's gone once and for all. I think this one, 85 men. Kind of tired, but they're fighting 35 men in line. Glorious um, victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Kind of good position here, though, hiding in among the trees and stuff. But this unit's slowly falling apart. No one's entirely sure what this Romanian captain is thinking, or lieutenant, or whatever he is, when he keeps the men like this 29. I guess he's waiting for these guys to turn up. Okay, so these guys were routed. We don't think they're gonna come back. So we're gonna focus in on the bigger one of these two, the 175 man strong regiment. And then we're gonna advance these guys now. It's 28 men here, 106. I want you guys forward. There's 76 right here. I want you guys over there. Start to run. Kind of running out of ammunition. It's good though that the artillery does not run out of ammunition. It's a great equalizer against the many infantrymen. Ooh, hoo, hoo, extremely nice hit there on the Romanian regiment. Blowing it apart. 163 men. They're still chasing after this Obligene, which I think is borderline uh, or sort of cruel at this point to follow them when there's only there was only like a few, a handful of them left. I guess the enemy's position right here is very strong given the fact that there's only 24 of them and they're still holding on. Uh, we've got a lot of more men coming up though, so these guys gonna just double in size even more and I think we will see the last of these guys then. Enemy has moved, the rest of the Romanians have moved into the forest there. Uh, we cannot hold this position so I imagine we will move up. Uh, we can set this one in the forest there and the others along the tree line. And that will be the plan. Come on artillery. Give me everything. Blow them away. Mother Russia depends on all you men to repel the invaders. Give them everything you've got. There's only 16 bastards left there, but they still hold. I'm not entirely sure what these guys are made of, but clearly some kind of absolute steel. 14 left. We're kind of running out of bullets doing this as well. I want this one will advance, try to get a better flank position while the others hold the front. I imagine if we see what kind of damage this one has done, it's probably done pretty good damage. Um, is the commander still alive? Yes, he is. He's hiding behind that tree. They're actually moving up, which hopefully is going to just cause more casualties in among them. There's only 10 of them left. And they're still holding on. There's nine. This unit. Come on, open fire now. There we go. Now we're gonna see some casualties, I hope. Yes, there's only six of them left. The enemy here has been spotted. There we go. They're retreating. And I think we just lost the commander right there. No, there he is. Shot in the back as he's trying to retreat. And only two of his men survived. Okay, fall back a bit. Backdrop of the town. Then I want you to move up next to them. And I want you... We don't want the enemy situated right there. You're gonna have to move out into the open, unfortunately. But you've got the general, and we've got the artillery support here. We've got 84 men and 85 over here. This one's about to break just from the power of the artillery strikes that are coming down. We're gonna go ahead and target this one. They're moving up in line. 
in an open field. That's not going to work out very well for them. Go on. Win the battle for me at this point. They've got not a chance in hell. Bloody Romanians. We show them what for. Right, nice fire coming in there. They're slowly just advancing through all this mayhem. Like a bunch of idiots. Seventy men, eighty one. Come on, keep it up, men. We can win this. Especially since they're acting like fools at this point. Are they trying to move my general? I'm gonna move the general back. That was quite expensive recruiting him. Ooh, ho, ho. We're blowing these guys apart. There we go, this unit's retreating. Now focus in the artillery on the other one. 43 men falling back. One of our units has used all its ah, ammunition, shit. sir. This one's out of ammo. Oh, the way! Some noy. Oh, the the enemy. Unlike the enemy, we will actually hold fire once they retreat. Yes, sir. Some noy. We are down to uh, what less than two hundred men, but we are victorious. Oh, general, come back here. You are not in any danger right now. Holy shit, there's so many dead people everywhere. We set fire to that house as well. Right, victory was assured. Close victory. Gonna go ahead and save this. Shigeba Jing Jong. It's a great title. And back to the campaign map. So at this point, this battle probably took forever. So this is gonna be the end of the video. And uh, we'll just take a quick look at what happened just in the vicinity of uh, the... Ah, look, nice. Not a single regiment was actually destroyed. Um, which means I can replenish all of them. Which is very nice. We lost, out of our army of 3,700 men, we lost 3,000. Leaving 700 men alive. The enemy m got about 6,000 men. And lost 4,600. 1,300 remaining against our 658. Highest killer was. Uh, what's this? Sweta Gubuji Old. I imagine 64 deployed. It must be the artillery. They lost one man. They killed a lot of people. Um, one of the rifle regiments, I imagine, that was the one we had maybe on the flank. Uh, or the one that, that sort of stayed at the post and defended, killed a thousand. Uh, very nice. Uh, Guzari, which is cavalry. Not They didn't do too well. It's the, uh, really the end of the cavalry era. So, yeah, that did not work out for them. But it definitely did not work out for the bloody Romanians. Now you need to stay the bloody hell away from us. Thing is, we don't got a good replenishment rate here. So I'm hoping to build up this village and then turning the village. I'm actually turning a lot of building a lot of villages. And then we can do like we can do here. Turn the village into a warehouse, which will increase the replenishment rate by 15%. So we don't actually have to uh, have, to have a... Uh, what's it called? You can change this into a training ground. The entire thing I did in the beginning was to change these training grounds. They actually don't do anything for the replenishment. Um, I actually changed them around to these to make more money. Uh, but if they don't... there, Here we go anyways, the full stack I was talking about. Which is coming in. Um, not very nice. Not very nice. It's going to be a hard to deal with that one. Especially since it's probably have... Um, Oh, human waves. Five minus chance to recover chance of battle casualties. Nice and slow, na lads. No need to run. We can overpower them with numbers and artillery. He gained the trait of human waves. 
I'm not entirely sure. Well, I guess because he he f really fought to the end, but um, I guess that's melancholic soul and soldier from birth, human waves. So his idea of winning battles, sending waves forwards. Not entirely sure. I, I, what, what do you guys think? Was that appropriate that he got that for the battle? I mean, he lost a lot of men, but. Uh, I mean, he need to bite in and defend the motherland. Right, so this is, as I said, it's probably a really long video at this point. So I will go ahead and say I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.